for the Knicks. Again, Jared Jeffrey's suspension is over. So he starts at small forward with Channing Fry and Eddie Curry up front. Stephon Marbury and Jamal Crawford in the backcourt. Still no Quentin Richardson on a day-to-day -day basis with that back problem. Meanwhile, for the Pistons, same five we've seen with one exception in the middle. With Ben Wallace now gone, the former Nick Nazi Muhammad, who's starting to come on, he starts in the middle for head coach Flip Saunders. This is a loose bunch. They're playing extremely well. They've won five in a row. And this is what happens after every national anthem, every game, Rasheed Wallace and Rip Hamilton have a race. Well, who's the first one to the bench? They're nice and relaxed, Clyde. When you win 15 of 18, you get to be like that. <laughs> yeah, they take care of business. They have fun and they take care of business. They've won five consecutive games. And that man is the catalyst right there. Hamilton, their top gun, averaging 21 a game. Hamilton, as much motion as any player in the league. Curry running down the floor, banks it in. Eddie Curry, three for three to start. And that time, just overwhelming Rashid. Fan was getting on him for, for Carlos Delfino being in the game. Delfino apparently turned the ball over a couple of times. Marbury, nice left hand, and puts it in. Ball did not hit the rim. Hamilton, the jumper. Second opportunity is propelling both teams now. It's a crossover move, kicks it out, dangerous pass. Obviously, it didn't work last year. Hamilton, yeah, that's good. Hamilton bumped, shot, counted, and one. Continuation. Marbury picks up his first. Watching you, Stefan's move on him when he cuffs the ball right there. Stefan came out with that move, and he uses it to his advantage that time against the creator. Davis trying to play him physical. Marbury inside. Good hard drive from Stefan Marbury. Prince had that six three-point game against the Knicks. Marbury to the basket, banks it in, and a foul. Stephon Marbury with a chance for a three-point play. And the Pistons very lackadaisical right now as they want to talk it over. So the Knicks with their hustle and muscle as Steph goes to the hoop. Stephon Marbury, chance for the three-point play, and he's got seven points. Good pass from Blaylock and Hamilton. Rip Hamilton rattles it in. And Hamilton now 5 of 8 from the field. He's got 11. Yeah, they... Max Seal is it. Oh, nice pass from Barber. Picks with some beautiful assists, and they're back up by one. This was a beautiful pass, Clyde. Yeah, intoxicating play by the Knicks now. By Stefan, look away, and leaves the beneficiary. First step. Allowing him to get ahead of defenders to score or draw a foul as he did on the previous play. But the last couple of days again, Pistons come in. They've won five in a row. And after a start, they started the season three and five. Since then, they're 15 and three. Channing Fry, it's good. And the Knicks with their largest lead of the half. Barbary will shoot. The Pistons average 11.9 assists per game. That's the lowest in the league. A scrimmage, the team that gets a couple of turnovers. Improvement as Rasheed Wallace misses has been Larry when Larry Brown coached him, but he just became a star in Detroit. Marbury coast to coast backs it in. Still on Marbury with 13 points standing over the screen. Yeah, he and Billups got a thing going on. Hamilton drawing the foul. Stay, stay on your feet. You know, Clyde, that, though that that's one call in the league that I think a lot of officials call that isn't necessarily the right call. Let's well, let's watch you. Now, now Crawford, yeah, that was a foul. He did go a little forward. But in, in making sure that the defensive player... Nick's 30 feet away starting their offense. Marbury. That's a three. Step on Marbury from downtown. He led the NBA in three-point shooting last year. Not shooting as many this year, and his number's down a bit. And did not need to show that. It was in his second half. Hamilton. Inside McDice. Nice adjustment from McDice. Hamilton, the quick mid-range jumper once again. He's got 19. Knicks have plenty of time to get off a decent shot. Jeffries throws it in, deflected. Oh, Curry gets it back. Marbury at three at the buzzer. It's good! Stephon Marbury at the buzzer to end the half. We'll review it, but Marbury got this off. Curry with a good catch and pass, and Marbury, no question about it.
Marbury and Curry with 40 of the Knicks 61 points. And Phillips, the culprit that time, as he lost Stefan, he was just meandering to the basket. Stefan uncontested from downtown. And that will end a high score in first half. Knicks shoot 62% from the. Marbury. That's good. Stefan Marbury, number three. Kicks it out. Hamilton left open for three. It's good. Or he's got a touch, the Midas touch, right in front of the Nick Benton's press with was Tim Duncan. He goes, Clive's found the same thing with Billups here and Hamilton. Those types of play. Marbury now six for six from the line. <laughs> I would have never opened my mouth. <laughs> Marbury inside, backs it in beautifully. 25 points. Rasheed Wallace continues to talk to him. Fry puts it up, puts it in. Shannon Fry gets an extra four-point lead. Realize that you're not serious. Crawford for three. That's good. Jamal Crawford only his second field goal. Three having a terrific all-around game. Both ends of the floor. Drives to the basket. Inside for Fry. Fry backs it in. It's Steph's grand tour in this game. Good boxing out to come up with the rebound. And held bent to the hoop. Right there, this is to Fry. It looked like he was fouled. There was contact, no foul call. Tony McDice comes in for Wallace. And Hamilton lifted his pivot foot. Puts it in and a foul. He got away with one there. And it appeared he lifted the pivot foot. Nice posting and toasting by Hamilton. So Hamilton 6'7, Stefan 6'2. And right there, 10 feet away. Oh, yeah. Switches it through. That's the one they've been very good at calling this year. Well, Hamilton having a terrific game as well. 27 points for Hamilton, 25 for Marbury. Overzealous. They've got to get him the ball on the low post. Hamilton again inside. Beautiful moves. Probably moves without the ball as well as anybody in the end. He's one of the good guys, Mike. But Cognizant of, of his hometown, Coatesville, is the name of the town of, in Pennsylvania. And he has to show that type of resolve every time. Hamilton inside. And Marbury got burned. Both teams shooting well. 59% for the Knicks, 54 for the Pistons. Hamilton, again, Rip Hamilton. 16 points in the period. Knicks led by 11 in the first half. But it's been close throughout. Fry knocks it down. Channing Fry. Crawford to Marbury. Marbury to the basket. It's good. And a foul. Stephon Marbury with a chance to tie the game. And McDice, too flamboyant. He had been tipping in balls. Should have tipped the last one in. And Stephon wheeling and dealing and thrilling this guard crowd as he goes to the line to shoot one. 20. Pushes him out a little bit. Hamilton. further than he wanted to be. And Hamilton gets in, boy, he is just superb. What a free throws from Marbury. Marbury's played 36 minutes. Marbury two for two. Marbury looking for an opening. Prince on him. Marbury drives, spins, got hit in the face, and still puts it in. Stephon Marbury. With 31. Phillips. Hamilton puts it in. Hamilton, boy, 39 points in a two. Nice clear out by Curry for Stefan. Marbury to the basket, puts it in. Beautiful drive for Marbury. He's got 33. Here's Channing Fry, wide open. It's good. The Knicks take the lead. Evan. Hamilton trying to run off screens. Prince. Give the foul. Puts it back out. Delfino for three. It's good. Delfino from downtown with 5.3 remaining. Knicks bringing it up. Crawford looks up. Crawford on the drive. Crawford puts it up for the win. No good. Overtime. What was Jeffries thinking? They did not know they had a foul to give. He had ample time to foul him. Hamilton with 39 points, a season high for him tonight. Marbury is season high 34. Hamilton had a chance to win the game from downtown baseline, misfired. Hamilton 
forces up the shot and puts it in with two guys draped over him. He's got 41. Richard Hamilton, 41 points. Curling. Knicks down five. Curling, curling the Knicks with the jumper. Marbury, tough shot, banks it in. 36 for Marbury. It's a three point game. And now it's a three point game. Curry back in with Marbury, Crawford, Fry, and Lee. Marbury for three, blocked by Billington. They call a foul on the three point attempt. Three free throws for Marbury. Three huge free throws here for Marbury. Knicks have missed how many tonight? 13. Team. <laughs> Rolls all the way around the rim before falling through, and it's a two point game. He's at high 37 for Marbury. Two for two. Marbury ties the game. Three clutch free throws for Stephon Marbury. And it's all even with 22.4 remaining. Shot clock turned off. Phillips looking. Phillips a three for the win. No good. Two, no good. And a second overtime coming up. But it's battle back from five down in the OT. And we'll have an extra period once again. But again, both teams uh, refuse to lose or refuse to win. Hamilton, that's good. That 43 for Hamilton. That was the play they wanted. <laughs> Marbury has plenty of time. Marbury goes at Prince inside. Layup, that's good. Top shot for Marbury. And he... Billups with Crawford guarding him. Rip Hamilton the fake, trying to draw the foul, and still knocks it down. A career-high 45 points for Richard Hamilton. Whoever playing with the five fouls has to be careful. Hamilton, quick shot. It's good. Hamilton, 47. Stephon's got to assert himself this time. Hamilton, not that time. Curry, a big rebound. And a foul call on Marbury, and he's out of the game. Marbury can't believe the call. He's fouled out as Hamilton went crashing after Curry secured the rebound. Well, Marbury fouls out with a season-high 41 points. It's a double whammy for the Knicks. Not only does he foul out, the Pistons get the ball in the front court. Let's take a look at the play. Watch Marbury after Hamilton looks to box out. Uh, Hamilton looked like he flopped on that one. That's a call you rarely see. I mean, a smart play from Hamilton to fall down, but it didn't appear there was much of a push there, and the rebound had already been secured. Crawford bumped Billups there, no call. Billups lost the ball, nearly fell down. I thought he traveled. Shot clock at four, Hamilton puts it up. Oh, he puts it in. Richard Hamilton, what a tough shot. Knicks do not have to go for the three. Crawford, the crossover, the floater in the paint. That's good. Jamal Crawford makes it a two-point game. And Richard Hamilton can reach a milestone of 50 points right here. No one has scored 50 against the Knicks since 1997. Jordan did it in a game in Chicago in 97. That's the last time a player has scored 50 against the Knicks until now. And this is the big one right here to make it a four-point game. And clutch free throws by the Pistons. Crawford on the drive. Going to go for the quick two. Running. Puts it in. Now foul. Crawford got hit. And a chance for a three-point play. As we said, we've seen a lot of folly tonight, folks. Puts it in. Two-point game. Knicks out of timeouts. Final seconds. Crawford. Double team. Crawford over to Fry. Fry the jumper. It's good. Four points very quietly. Channing Fry coming up big offensively. And you saw Dice. Watch Dice contest the shot. Dice is right in his face, right there. Here we go again. Just over three and a half remaining in the third overtime. Good job by Jamal making Hamilton work on the defense. Crawford, the pull up. Puts it in. Knicks up by three. 22 for Crawford. Out again on its feet. 
Buck to try to call out a play. He should call his own play. He took Hamilton before. Curry sets the pick. Crawford. It's good. John Crawford knocks it down. The five-point Nick Lee. Timeout to Trump. And the drummer continues. Exhilarating play by Crawford now. He's canned his last two jumpers. Seven straight points by the Knicks, and they're on their feet here at the guard. A high screen by Curry. Crawford from 22 feet away. 144, 139. Tough shot from Crawford. Hamilton has to be tired. All the shooting he's done. Now Crawford making him pay on the D. Uh, Crawford with seven on the shot clock. Prince guarding him. Crawford trying to find an opening. Puts up the shot. It's good. Crawford drills the jumper. And the Knicks up by three. Pistons with 27 offensive rebounds. There's Hamilton. Drives inside. Misses it. Try the rebound. And he's fouled. And Hamilton can't believe a foul wasn't called. Neither can Flip Saunders with 13.6 remaining. And the Knicks will win it. They win a triple overtime thriller here at the Garden. An amazing game as the Knicks win it 151 to 145. And this is the type of win that can propel a team, give them a lot of confidence as they embark on a road trip.